Welcome back to the Wildlanders Off Grid and tonight we're doing an off-grid product review and we're looking at the fabulously awesome Bluetti AC200 which I'm really excited about because it's basically going to power the whole of Rose's cabin it's that big of a beast so enjoy tonight's episode Bluetti AC200 is a high capacity power station and it's pretty impressive. It's got 2048 watt hour capacity and a 2400 watt pure sine wave output. So it's great for Rosie. So it means she's going to be able to run all her lights while running her laptop and having the heating on all at the same time. She gets herself a small fridge to be easily able to power that as well. It's also extremely flexible as you can add additional batteries through its expansion ports. So whether you're just going camping or you want a one-stop plug and play solution for your van or camper van or motorhome, or as in our case, for our cabin in the woods, which is Rose's cabin, it's ideal as it's a high powered and it gives her a lot of power to run everything that she needs. So on the side of the AC200, we've got an input here, which is a screw in input which goes to an Anderson adapter which is really exciting because and I'm easily excited the AC200 can take up to 1200 watts of input from solar which is a massive amount most other boxes go to 400 watts if you're lucky so 1200 watt is super cool so in our case currently while the Bluetti is being used in a makeshift fashion before Missy does all the proper installation of cables we're running this out of the window and plugging it into our 600 watts of solar panels and that's been great for charging it up charges up super fast and then also on the same panel we've got a circuit protector button which we never have to use and then we've got the input for additional Bluetti batteries that I mentioned earlier and you've got an AC input here which is so that you can charge the Bluetti off a uh, generator. So on the front of the Bluetti AC200 we've got four AC outlets in our case with EU plug fittings got an array of USB so we've got USB-C that particular one is 100 watts another USB-C 100 watts and then we've got USB-A's and then here we have a cigarette lighter and if you remember in last week's video I said one of the most important things for us is we needed to have a power bank that could run our diesel heater which is how Rose is going to be heating her cabin and because the cabin whilst it's not very big it is quite big in diesel heater terms so we got an 8 kilowatt Vivo diesel heater and we wanted the Bluetti to power that so we're doing that using a transformer which is a super useful hack because generally speaking you can't run an 8 kilowatt diesel heater off a power bank so the transformer what that does it plugs into your AC outlet and then it converts the AC from AC to DC and in our case it needed to be over 10 amps consistently 12 to 15 amps so then we can just plug that into here run our diesel heater heat the cabin Rose is happy Phoenix tried that out on his visit he stayed in the cabin last week and said it was super efficient so that's a job done for us so one of the super cool things about the AC200 is that it comes with a Bluetti app and you have direct control over various settings such as power eco mode lifting mode the output frequencies and charging modes additionally by using the Bluetti app you can access a user-friendly interface on your phone to conveniently monitor and control the AC200L so to use a super cool Bluetti app, which really is cool, I love it. And all you have to do is scan this in your phone and then the app will install from the Google Play Store uh, and Bob's your uncle. So the AC200 really is gonna do a great job in the cabin. I'm really excited about getting it fully installed, as is Rosie, as we get near to the end of her cabin build. Obviously power is very, very important in a cabin, especially for somebody that needs to have a high-powered gaming laptop running off the Bluetti. So Rosie's put it through its tests and it really does do well with the heating, the lights, and her laptop all on at the same time. So it's highly recommended as a one-stop option for your tiny house, your cabin, your barge, boat, or if you're living in a van. So highly recommended. And thanks very much to Blue Etty for tonight's episode. And thank you all for watching as well. And we'll see you very soon from the Wildlands off-grid in central Portugal. Mm -hmm.